Hey guys, so I know some people might think that buying things online is a little daunting. It can be scary buying things that you're not exactly sure of what they look like or what the quality will be. And so I personally love eBay. I think I have an eBay addiction. But I'm here to show you some brushes that I bought on eBay. Um, they're from Hong Kong, and it's a set of 24 brushes, I think. But I really love them. Um, brushes are really expensive. If you go and buy nice brushes at MAC, I know they're about, you know, 15 to $20 each. And this cost me... I can't really remember. Um, around twenty dollars with shipping, and I got twenty-four brushes, so that's really awesome. It's a great uh, cut in price, especially if you want nice brushes and you don't feel like spending that much money per brush. So the brushes come in a case. It looks like this. I don't know what this is. I think it's leather, fake leather something. So, it comes in a case like this, so if you want to take them with you, it's really convenient. It's not too big or anything. So, you unroll the case, and inside it looks like this, and flip this up, and these are all the brushes that you get. So you get quite a variety, um, obviously down here there's some smaller brushes, there's the uh, eyebrow bristle brush things, and then there's a smudger brush, flip brush, um, just smaller sort of flat brushes, I don't know what you use them for, you know, whatever you want. Um, then there are eyeshadow brushes, concealer brushes. Um, powder brushes, blush brushes, and two fan brushes. I don't really use the fan brushes. I use this one for um, wiping hair off my face when I cut my own bangs. I have used it for powder, but it's kind of it's really messy and it's just a really ridiculously huge brush, so I don't really use it that often. But, if you want one of those, this is great. So, yeah, I really love these brushes. They are real hair. They're uh, sable hair. or I think the white one is goat hair. Um, you can get synthetic ones, too, if you don't want real hair. I know some people don't like to have real hair brushes. This is just what I bought. And I, I don't think there's any kind of price difference between synthetic or real hair. So, yeah, these are all the brushes you get, around probably 20 to $25, depending on what store you go to on eBay. Um, they arrive fairly quickly, I would say a week or so, shipping is pretty good. Um, if you have any questions about these, just post a comment for me or send me a message. And I'm in this video, I'm also going to show you how to wash them, or how I wash my brushes. And it's really easy, so stay tuned for that. And thanks. So here you have the brushes that need to be cleaned. And here is the little dish I'm using to clean the brushes. And here's my little towel setup so that the brushes can dry at an angle. So we start with some antibacterial soap. And then you add some extra virgin olive oil about half and half or so, and you swirl it around and mix it up. And 
Then you take your brush and you swirl it around the mix you just made. And you can see all the makeup coming off as you're stirring it. Yeah, you can see it's really kind of gross, but that's what you put on your face every day. Then you put some water in your hand and you swirl the brush around, and then that's a bit more gentle than putting it directly under the tab, especially at first. So you just swirl it around there and all the soap and olive oil and the rest of the makeup will come out. So now you put it under the water, making sure that no water is going into your brush. And you just rinse it until all the soap and oil is out. And the olive oil moisturizes your brush while the soap, and especially antibacterial soap, gets rid of all the dirt and makeup and bacteria. So you just gently want to squeeze your brush so that it's flat and just all smooth the way that you bought it. Then you take it and you put it up diagonally on your towel so that all the water goes down into the towel and not into your brush. So that's how I wash my brushes and you just want to make sure that when you're washing them um, don't let water go over this silver part or else the water will um, I don't know, uh, wreck the glue and all the bristles will fall out and you'll ruin your brush. Um, so just make sure you keep it like this and don't turn it upside down when it's wet or the same thing will happen, the water will seep down into here and wreck the glue. And that's why you draw them in an angle. So thanks for watching, leave me a comment or message, see you later.